Alrighty, hey guys, it is Mitch Games 24 7 here today with another video for you guys, and today we're going to be talking about Ninja. Oh boy, this is going to be a fun one. Um, apologies if I sound really sick, I still have the flu, so that's just, you know, fantastic. But, um, yeah, Ninja essentially wants to sue Twitch, and I don't really blame him, to be honest. Um, you guys who are probably new to the channel and haven't seen any of my videos, you don't know this, but, um, I'm going to make it very clear, I don't like Twitch. Um, I really don't, and I stream here full-time on YouTube, and YouTube kicks my ass for it, and, you know, it sucks, but I would rather stream on YouTube than have to stream on Twitch and put up with their bullshit, because, realistically, it's a terrible platform, uh, it really is, and I mean, the fact that Ninja's, you know, considering suing them just goes to show that, like, he literally moved to Mixer, like, he was the largest Twitch streamer, he had double the amount of followers than anybody else, he had 14 million followers, and he was willing to leave that behind to go to another platform. Now, I know that Mixer would have paid him a lot, and I mean a lot. Like, I would say, honestly, anywhere from 10 to to $100 million for him to move over to Mixer. And I don't blame him for taking that cash at all. You can say he's a sellout, you can say whatever the hell you want about him. But at the end of the day, he's got that money, that's financial security, that's what everyone in this industry wants, and now he has that. So, let's talk about Twitch. Twitch has recently been under fire and just downright, just because they've been downright sexist in regards to how they treat their streamers, which is pretty just, it's terrible. Uh, so countless women have been, like, found, you know, saying the n-word, which is just not okay, uh, with no punishment at all. None at all. Which is just a complete and utter joke. You look at Alinity, she's been, you know, um, there's animal abuse on there where she feeds her cat vodka and all of these countless other things that, you know, seemingly females are getting away with on the website, which is just complete crap. I think that, you know, if a male's going to be banned for it, a female should be banned for it. Um, and, you know, I just think that that's because the people who are running Twitch just need to get laid, to be honest. I think that that's the entire problem right there. So I think that that's what's going on, if I'm being real with you. But, um, you know, that's, that's whatever. So, not only are they doing that, but the people who are running Twitch, the, the, the virgins that are running Twitch, have now decided, since Ninja has gone over to Mixer, to promote other people's streams on his page. Personally, I don't see anything wrong with that. I, I'm like, okay, fair enough, he's left there, you know, it's a slight little jab, but sure, whatever, cool. It, there's not really too much wrong with it. However... How they've done this is basically, it's just, it's insulting to Ninja. So basically, they've just grabbed the Fortnite category and just moved it onto his channel. They're like, the ninja you're looking for is in another castle. It's a reference to Super Mario Bros. I thought it was quite clever, but it is a little bit insulting to him, considering he had streamed on their platform for eight years, building it up. And, you know, he was the face of Twitch. He was, and he moved to Mixer. That's, I mean, you know, maybe if Twitch was a little bit better, he might have stayed there, you know? Um, obviously, you know... Uh, I think that they should have, you know, treated him a little bit better because definitely he left. And I know that you could say Twitch made him and whatnot. But I mean, realistically, he was there for eight years. Like, he, he's clocked out. He's moved on to bigger and better things. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but back to my point. So, so they've been promoting other streams. Okay, cool. You know, you can think what you want of that. However, because it's through the Fortnite category, basically the top streamers are the ones that pop up on his page. Now, this is a problem because porn was found on the top of his channel today. Because the top stream in the Fortnite category was a porn stream. I don't know how that happens, but it happened. And yep, sure enough, it was promoted on Ninja's channel. Now, that is terrible because that ruins and just, you know, tarnishes his brand. Because what if, you know, like Ninja is a fairly PG, family-friendly streamer nowadays. What if a parent clicks on that, goes to Twitch, hasn't checked Ninja in a couple weeks goes to see his channel, and bam, up pops this porn in front of their children. You know, um, obviously the parents are going to be pretty damn upset about it. It's a pretty, uh, <laughs> it's a pretty wild thing for a child to see. And, you know, understandably so, Ninja's quite upset about it, as well as his wife, Jess. So, I'm actually going to read out a couple tweets here as to what they had to say about it, and I'm going to show you guys a video here of Ninja's response. As you guys know, I'm streaming on Mixer now. My team and I have made sure that the transition went incredibly smooth, super professional. We haven't said anything bad or negative about Twitch, obviously, because there really hadn't been any reason to. Over the last couple of days, there have been some things that have been going on that, you know, we let slide. They were kind of annoying, little jabs we felt like, but it didn't matter. We wanted to stay professional. But now, for those of you who don't know, 
if you go to twitch.tv slash ninja, they advertise other channels. They don't do this for anyone else that's offline, by the way. Just me. And there are also other streamers who have signed with other platforms whose stream and channel still remains the same. You can see their VODs. They don't promote other streams. They don't promote, promote other popular channels. But they do on mine. I've been streaming for eight years to build my brand, to build that channel. 14 and a half million followers. And they were still using my channel to promote other streamers. Well, now there was a porn account that was number one being recommended on my channel. And I have no say in any of this stuff. So this is like the, this is the line, this is the straw. We're trying to get the whole channel taken down to begin with, or at least not promote other streamers and other channels on my brand, on my freaking profile. So for anyone who saw that, for anyone whose kids, or, or who just didn't obviously want to see that, I apologize, and, uh, and I'm sorry. Now, as you can see, Ninja was quite unhappy with the with how everything went down, and he is really just ashamed, honestly, and, you know, that shouldn't be something that's happened, and I think that it is really a damn shame. We're going to move on to what his wife, Jess, has just said as well. She goes on to state that, you know, this is so disgusting, Tyler has worked so hard to, ha um, to have a brand that's suitable for all audiences, we have no control of what they're doing to his Twitch channel, which is directly affecting his brand in a bad way. So pissed. Which is really worrying because, like, honestly, this could transition into something else. It really could. Uh, she continues as well because, like, Jess is really mad about this, but, um, she retweets a post by Justin Ken, who is, uh, involved in Twitch. I believe he's, like, uh, one of the, like, founding people of it. I'm not too sure, but, um, you know, he, he's been around on Twitch for a while, and basically she retweets what he said, and it was, uh, Ninja's announcement that he's going to Mixer, and he just retweeted it and said, rip, with a winky face, which is really rude, it's a snarky, just petty comment, and Jess retweeted that comment, and, you know, went, Twitch is doing PR control right now, but it seems their intent from the beginning was to try to kill the Ninja brand. They say promoting other channels on his page wasn't of ill intent, but here is a Twitch co-founder saying, rip, with a winky face to Tyler's transition, petty, and that's absolutely what it is. It is just disgusting. It's a really poor way to manage things. So much so that, as I said before, Ninja and Jess are actually thinking of, you know, suing Twitch. I don't know if they're going to be able to. I'm sure there's going to be something in their original contract where they can't or something like that. But they're not under contract anymore. So maybe. We'll have to wait and see. It's going to be interesting to see how it turns on out. But... I mean, the potential is there, and Ninja definitely has the money to, you know, if he wants to bring it to, you know, Twitch and, you know, want to turn this into a lawsuit, it could be the end of Twitch, which, honestly, I think would be really interesting to see. I think that Mix is a fantastic platform, and I mean, it's competition. Competition is always good. You know, maybe with that, YouTube might even start becoming a good place to stream. Please watch my streams. I'm telling you, they're, they're fantastic. But YouTube is not the best platform either, but, I mean, that's that's for another video. Um, anyways, that's going to conclude it here. Let me know what you guys thought of it. I know I rambled on for a little bit. Uh, I'm very sick at the moment, so if you guys want to support me by leaving a like, subscribing, I would appreciate it. We're coming up on 156,000 subscribers on the channel. Trying to hit 200k here on the channel very soon. Anyways, guys, that's it for me, and I'll see you guys in another video.